Hi again, continuing on from our tour of VJoy in the last video, this time we're going to be looking at the UJR program, or Universal Joystick Remapper. So to get started, you're going to want to download the program, which you can do from this website here. There's the download link. And of course I'll have that in the notes. Now there's no installer for this program, it just downloads as a zip file. So extract it into a folder, like I've done here, and then run the ujr.exe file. Uh, make sure VJoy Feeder is closed before you start this program. And that will throw up a user account control window, but you don't need to worry about that. It doesn't record on the screen recorder. Okay, so this is the UJR program. And the first thing you want to do before you start configuring anything is go to the Profiles tab and create a profile for whatever game or whatever it is you're configuring. So click on Add, then type a name for the profile, and then click on OK. OK, now we can start configuring our virtual joystick. This may take a little trial and error to get right, but we'll cover the basics first. Go to Axis 1 first, and the first thing you're going to want to do is change this ID here to whatever the ID of your virtual joystick was. So in my case it was ID 8. Right, so on this tab now we can map the real axis of our gamepad, which I'll show in Xpadder here just for convenience. You don't need Xpadder to use this tool obviously and you can map these axes onto the virtual axis of your virtual joystick. So for instance, if we wanted to map the analog stick here, the left analog stick, onto our virtual axis X here, well, first we need to find the correct device ID of our Xbox pad. Now, usually this will be one or two, so let's try them both. Physical stick one and we'll choose physical axis 1. Now if I actually move the control stick now, nothing's happening, so that's not right. So let's move this to 2. And nope, still nothing happening. And still nothing happening. Okay, in this situation, I recommend that you close the program and restart it. Okay, let's try again. And there we go. Now you can see as I move this stick here that we're actually moving the axis on here. So in effect, when we move this stick, it's feeding through to our virtual joystick and moving the virtual joystick. So we know that in this instance, the physical stick ID is stick number one. Right, let's say for instance, I want to configure my virtual joystick so that left and right on the analog stick here, are also left and right on my virtual joystick, but I want to configure it so that the triggers here on the up and down on this axis. So let me show you what I mean. So in this column I'm going to say that axis Y on the virtual joystick maps to physical stick 1, but physical axis 3. Okay, so now when I move left and right, I move the left and right, but when I move up and down, I don't move anything. If I press these here, we're actually moving the Y axis on the virtual joystick. So maybe you've got a driving game that's mapped up and down to accelerate and brake. You don't want that. You'd rather use the triggers. Well, now you can. Notice how when I press the left trigger here, this axis shoots up. This might seem like the wrong way round, but I suggest trying it in your game first. 
If it is the wrong way round, simply select invert here. A couple of other things you might want to tweak. Dead zone here refers to how far the stick must be pushed to register some movement. On something like an Xbox 360 controller, you're going to want a little bit of dead zone, just so resting your thumb on the stick doesn't accidentally trigger it. Try it at around 15% and more if you feel it's necessary. Sensitivity here is pretty self-explanatory. If you think the stick is too sensitive in your game, dial this back a bit. And finally in this video I'll look at buttons. Configuring buttons is easy. If you want button 1 on the virtual pad to map to button 3 on the real pad, just set things like this. Virtual button 3 is stick ID 1 and button 1. If you're not sure what the button numbers are on your physical pad, simply go to USB game controllers on the control panel, choose your real Xbox controller or any other controller, click on properties and then press a button. So here you can see that the green button or button A is button 1. Two, three, four, etc. Simple as that. Okay, that covers the basics of using this program. You should now start your game and set up game controllers appropriately. Remember to choose the VJoy device when selecting which controller to use. If the game only has Pad 1, Pad 2, etc., in this case we would choose Pad 2 since Pad 1 was our real controller. And that concludes this tutorial. You now know the basics of remapping the axes on your joypad or joystick using UJR.